iCloud authentication error or unsupported ID error, is one of the problems encountered by many iPhone owners after the recent iOS 13.2 update. Apparently, this error would make you think that there's something wrong with your Apple ID credentials, when you haven't changed anything on it. This is such an annoying issue as you won't be able to connect to Apple's iCloud servers. Hence, you won't be able to use and manage files for more to iCloud. But don't worry, there's always something you can do about this problem. Hey guys, Harold here from TheCellGuide.com, and in this video, I will be showing you what to do if your iPhone XR keeps getting the iCloud authentication error. First solution, perform the force restart on your iPhone. If your iPhone has worked properly without any problems prior to this issue, then it's possible that the error is just due to a minor and temporary problem. A forced restart may be able to fix it. Here's what you need to do. Quickly press and release the volume up button, and then the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, press and hold the side or power key for 15 seconds or until the Apple logo shows on the screen. Your iPhone will continue the usual boot process. When the reboot is complete, try to see if the iCloud authentication error still shows. Second solution, make sure you have a stable internet connection. To be able to connect to Apple servers, you should have a good and stable internet connection. This is what you have to double check if you're getting the iCloud authentication error. To do this, tap settings from the home screen. Touch Wi-Fi. Toggle the Wi-Fi switch to disable it. After a few seconds, touch the switch again to enable it back. To check if you have a connection, launch Safari and browse some sites. If you have a good connection but you still get the same error, move on to the next solution. Third solution, factory reset your iPhone. If the first two solutions failed to fix the problem, then you need to reset your iPhone. This will fix the problem but make sure to create a backup of your important files and data as they will be deleted. When ready, follow these steps to reset your iPhone. From the home screen, tap Settings. Find and tap General. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch Reset. Tap Erase All Contents and Settings. Tap Erase Now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap Erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.